eating the fruit of the tree of knowledge is the symbol of mankind's move from a state of unconscious, innocent reaction to the next stage of evolution, wherein man, acting from ego and using volition, is conscious. This fall from guiltless paradise occurs when man learns discipline and the power of differentiation. Then he is able to sustain his life and Vishnu becomes the dominant principle. The next evolutionary step is toward omniscience through surrender. The basis for evolution is the creator of life, Brahma. Brahma, with four faces, is the creator. He is adored by celestial sages, rishis. In three hands, he holds a rosary or mala for counting repetitions of mantra or prayers a lustral spoon for pouring the sacrificial oblation, and a jar of amrita, the nectar of immortality. His fourth hand is bestowing a boon. At his knee is the wild gander, a special vehicle of flight. Brahma holds in his remaining left hand the books of knowledge, the Vedas, of which he is the source. At the upper right is the goddess of smooth-flowing creative energy, Saraswati, the consort of Ma. She holds a vena, the source of sound. Her right big toe is touching a peacock, which symbolizes the upward flow of creative energy, her vehicle. At the lower right is Brahmani, the spouse of Brahma. A spouse is the female half of the god, or the male half of the goddess. A consort of a god is an energy creating reflection of him. An equivalent of a god would be the same god in a female form or vice versa for a goddess. This is a form of Brahma in the yoga temple at Kaivarohana. Here, Vishnu reclines within the golden womb of Brahmani in his threefold aspect as the sustainer, the serpent, Ananti Shesha, who forms his bed, and as the cosmic ocean, the sky upon which he and the serpent float. Vishnu presses his left palm down on his war club. In his other hand, he holds the conch of yogic sleep. The upper right hand grasps the wheel of fire while grating this with his remaining hand. A Mesoamerican counterpart of Vishnu is carved on an Olmec stone tablet from the La Venta site near Tabasco, Mexico. A god reclines on a feathered serpent. 
not unlike Vishnu's animal vehicle, Garuda. Vishnu, the dreamer, laying on the serpent of desire, has Brahma rising out of his navel, seated on a lotus flower. His spouse, Lakshmi, holds his right foot, while he floats above the five heroic Pandu brothers and their wife, Draupadi. The Egyptian counterpart of Vishnu is Osiris, shown here dreaming while sleeping on the back of a Nile crocodile, the god Sebek of the primordial Abyss. At Osiris's feet, in place of Padma Lakshmi, is Isis, the mother of Osiris's dream bringing from the Nile lotus, giving birth to the sun god, Horus the child. The Bhagavata Purana tells of a mighty elephant raging in a mountain forest with his herd, who, upon entering for a cooling bath, a delicious lotus lake, became ensnared there in the coils of a serpent king. The trapped beast struggled long, unable to break free, and at last sent forth a prayer remembered from a former lifetime, to which the god whose dream is the universe immediately responded. The serpent king and his queen worshipfully surrender their victim to Vishnu, who has soared in on his sunbird, Garuda. The living ground of all being is Shiva Maheshvara, the great Lord, who is personified in a sublime triadic image in a cave on Elephanta Island in Bombay Harbor. The profile at the viewer's left is male, that at the right, female. The image at the center is the eternal source whence all pairs of opposites proceed, male and female, peace and strife, creation and annihilation. This staff-holding personage from an Olmec stellet stands surrounded by a company of which he is obviously the Lord. In Europe, Odin is surrounded by his night-flying howling host. In India, the same dissolving principle is Rudra and his young wind gods, the Maruts. 